As for offending things, you don't want to ever like stick your chopsticks in your food because that's what, what you do for incense when worshiping your ancestors. So that's a big do not do that. <laughs> you never like make an example of them in like public. That's a super big no no. Like you never say like, why did you do something like this to me in front of people? Like you can talk to them in private and we will understand it's like your friendship that you want to talk about but if you do it in front of people they'll take it as like you want to make them look bad in front of everyone whereas here we don't worry as much about that I mean we still don't want to like be embarrassing everyone in front of everyone else but there's just as well you got to be more careful with talking to them about things like that and they're also really frank in different ways than we are like they'll call you fat blatantly and it's not offensive I don't quite understand that, but it's just kind of funny. You'd have to be just humble and accepting, like, oh, thank you. Oh, Elder, you're getting so much fatter. <laughs> thank you. I feel great. <laughs> but you can't say that about them, I don't think. I never did because I didn't want to offend them, so I never tried. <laughs> so I guess that's a thing that you just have to be ready to accept. And it's a don't in our culture but they do it all the time. They're a very giving culture, and they'll try and give you stuff all the time. All the time. Um, but you have to, there's kind of like a three-step thing that you would do, is um, we called it the buhawisa, which just means like you're trying to be polite. So someone offers something and you deny it once um, because you don't want to take advantage of someone's too good nature and you're not sure if they even have the, the ability to be able to give something because they might be giving something that they would have eaten that day. And then you they offer again and you deny it again because you don't know if they really can offer it, um, if they have this financial ability to do so because the people are just so kind and giving, they'll do it anyway. And then if they offer it a third time, um, you You'll want to accept it because it means that they they can. They're really genuine about the offer. And it's also rude in their culture to reject gifts. So by the third time you know that they're sincere about it, they have the ability to do it, and that you don't want to offend their culture. <laughs> if you accept everything people give you, you'll just be floundering with too much stuff because people just love you for some reason. I don't know why. Everyone just kind of always listens to the elder of the house. Students would have issues with their parents being opposed to them getting baptized or coming to church or bringing anything home because it's against tradition and if someone older than you says you can't do it, then you just don't, which kind of hurts the thought of independence. And so that's why you have to find the people that you would be able to find and teach are those who are wanting to be independent, search for answers, have questions. So they respect their elderly a lot. Um, sometimes there'd be someone that wanted to come to church and the parents said no, but the grandma said yes, so they could go. <laughs> and they usually live with their, uh, their children, their, like a grandparent would live with them. It was very rare that you'd find an elderly person that lived alone. Very rare. So usually um, you'll ask to remove your shoes or not, and they have what they have called guest slippers. So they have these little slippers they give to everyone that comes in their home. They have uh, their temples, which are, they call them meows, like the cat. And they're just these little uh, temples about, usually about the size of half house or pretty small. Uh, they get pretty big too though, pretty incredible, crazy awesome designs. And they do incense and um, fruit and stuff on the a table that they used to worship with and that happens at the end of every lunar month, I think. And you can't take the fruit or any of the juices or whatever they have on their tables because they get, they get pretty interesting sometimes. Like, they'll usually put whatever their food is, like a bowl of fruit, and then rice, and something else. But sometimes you go to, like, a 7-Eleven, and then they have, like, a bunch of sodas, and 
microwave sandwiches. Yeah. Kind of interesting, but I mean, you use what you have. <laughs>